Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, my name is Kalia Chalan and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back and thanks for joining. So today I wanted to talk through this piece, in particular um, some adjustments that I've made to uh, my paints, my thinking and um, the process that I use. So hopefully this will help you um, improve on your side as well. If you're familiar with my previous videos, you will know that for the bloom technique, I am getting fairly decent results. I will get the nice cells, the nice lacing, um, etc. But there are still certain areas that I really wanted to improve, uh, hence the uh, adjustments that I've made. So the first change I've made was to do with my paint consistency. I think we really underestimate how important that is uh, because if your paints are not the right consistency across, you will end up with a paint moving at a different uh, pace when you're tilting or spinning and that would really distort the cells that you're getting. So getting the paint on point was really key. The second change was to do with the blowing. As you can see and hear from this video, um, I started by gently blowing right in the center other colors just to get that paint to start moving and then I've gently started blowing the that first layer of paint across the rest of the colors and just get it to skim on top of it very very gently and smoothly. I used to think that my blow was really soft and slow previously but this time around I've really slowed it down and really softened it up and it made quite a big difference. I didn't get any of a pillow uh, that came through and uh, I was really able to um, get that cell activator to skim on top of the other colors. The last thing that I've changed was to do with my paint choices and how I would layer them. So at the beginning, I would only use about two to four colors um, in my bloom. Um, and I didn't really give it much thought in terms of whether they were opaque, semi-transparent or transparent paint. The only thing that I really made sure of each time was that I had a metallic paint as my last colored layer right before the cell activator. That's because the metallic paint, because of their properties, they will always sell up. So if you're not getting any cells whatsoever at the moment, I would highly recommend that you try to put a layer of metallic paint right before uh, your cell activator. Over time, I had increased the number of colors that I was using, but again, I wasn't giving much thought to the opacity level of this paint and how I was layering them. Uh, I would have typically gone from uh, light to dark or somewhat consider uh, whether they were complementary colors or not. So again, if your paint consistency is right, you use a metallic paint as your last layer before your cell activator and um, you use complementary colors you will get cells and uh, lacing in your bloom but if you want that little extra oomph to your pieces like i'm kind of looking for now um, then you really need to do give a bit more thought in terms of uh, uh, how you're layering the different paints and the opacity level of your paint. For me, at the moment, my goal is to be able to produce uh, what we call peacock cells within my blooms. So peacock cells basically 
is if you're looking at one cell in the bloom, you will be able to see multiple layers of uh, different colors you've used within that one cell. I think the peacock cells gives a lot more uh, depth and dimensions to the piece. It also adds a lot more uh, interest to the composition and um, this is really what I'm really striving for for my future blooms um, at the moment. So for this piece I was able to achieve what I was after uh, simply by watching out for my paint consistency, uh, secondly by softening and slowing down my blow and lastly just giving it a bit more thought around the type of paints that I'm using in terms of opacity level and um, the order in which I was layering them. Um, the results that I got were fairly consistent. Uh, I did about eight coaster size uh, on that day and they all came out really nicely with really nice uh, and well-defined uh, cells. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions uh, around the bloom or around anything I've discussed in this video, please uh, leave me a message in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.